video, we are going to learn about arc length parameter. In our previous video, which is the first video, we have this is a question about the tangent vector. If you haven't watched those videos, I have given the link in the description. And also, if you are new to this expert channel, don't forget to subscribe it. So here we are going to just understand what is meant by arc length parameter. And also, I have given some other YouTube channels video which they have described these things in a very beautiful manner so if you want to watch that please do that so so let's move on to this again so this is going to be arc length parameter so first we actually understood that if there is a line we can denote it by a certain parameter let's say if there is a line like this this is going to be the vector t let's say this is going to be a line and here we are going to find this value for that there is a vt the vector with the parameterization with uses the t and if you substitute some values let's say t naught for that t this vector will show up this point likewise if you are substituting t1 this vector from this origin the vector will be drawn from the origin and it's going to show up another point of that line likewise for several points it will be shown by each and every unique value or the value which you are providing for the parameter now what we are going to do is instead of this parameter t we are going to change that parameter to another parameter which is known as arc length parameter so what's mean by that so arc length simply means that here we are going to use this length as parameter or this length as parameter the length or the line which is already in that particular line we are going to take that as take that line as a parameter and we are going to do the sum instead of t we are going to change the parameter as this line so let's make this s then so from this we are going to take it as parameter so that's the thing first of all you need to understand this is known as arc length let's say if you want to take the parameter as this from this point to this point like this is the curve so this is going to be the parameter so first of all we are having at t naught from this vector line it's actually denoting from the from the origin to the certain point of line but now we are going to change the parameter to s which is going to be the arc length parameter so how to change that so that's very simple let's look on to that so what's the concept we are going to use is in the previous video we have learned about derivative of a vector a derivative of a vector which will give the tangent vector of that a point if you are doing for a point you are going to get the tangent vector of a point so let's say this is going to be the vt so if i draw the tangent vector or if you find the tangent vector of v dash at the point t1 you are going to get like this it's going to actually go for a long part but let's make it as this it's going to show this line the blue color one likewise if you find the tangent vector of the vector v at the point t naught you are going to get something like this likewise we are going to get small pieces of the tangent line and if you integrate that let's say this is going to be a small each and every small pieces and integrate what you are going to get is certainly you are going to get the line this is going to be this s so first of all you need to understand you need to figure it out or we need to find out the equation for line because using this vector what you are going to find is you are going to find the points in that line individually but what we are going to do is we are going to take and find out this s related to the vector so what you can do is if you found out the derivative it's going to give actually this a small part likewise if you find the each and every small part that you can found and if you integrate that it's going to give the shape of this line if you find the tangent it's going to be like this here it's going to be like this likewise you can figure it, figure it out the value of single separate small pieces 
of the tangent vector or each point and using the integration you can find out that's known as arc length parameter and that's how you need to find out the arc length parameter so let's write it in the notation how to find out the arc length parameter so let's say we are going to take this curve the actually the line a portion of the actual line as a parameter the arc length of that parameter we are going to take that so how to find out the value of x here how we are going to find out the s so please pause the video and try to use some integration and some differentiation to figure it out since we all knew that first of all we need to find out the tangent vector of h at every point so let's say this is going to be the vector v and or else you can actually mark it as r any other vector any names so let's give it as r so if you give the name as r this is going to be the r vector and when you are changing the parameter it's going to show different points of that line so first we are going to do is we are going to find the derivative of that so likewise we are going to find out the derivative for each and every point so get the how we can get the derivative of that of this r how we can find out the derivative it's going to be r dash t so here if you substitute the value of t naught you are going to get the derivative of that point likewise you are going to get the derivative now each point you can get it but what the next step we going to do is we are going to add up those which means we are going to integrate that we are going to add those small pieces which means we are going to integrate that so if you are integrating from which point to which point that's the question so here we are going to take from this line in that total line we are going to take let's say from the t naught to t1 which means we are going to integrate from t naught to t1 so that's how it's going to be and always remember the r dash t naught will be a vector and to find out the magnitude of that vector because we are going to find this s the length of that so to find out the magnitude you can use this mod value so if you find out the mod value you are going to get that but another important problem that you can face here is since we are going to differentiate with this t and let's say we you can actually use this as dt and you can actually substitute this value but it seems like a little bit confusing so for that what you can do is you can actually take off and write it as du but the meaning is same so actually it's we are going to consider as u the parameter as u initial parameter as u and once you differentiate you are going to substitute the value of t1 and t0 and it's going to be the same or else you can actually use the t also it's same but for the for the uh, much easy representation so that you can identify these terms separately so that you can easily understand these things so this is going to be the value so let's mark it again so it's going to be t0 to t1 and this is going to be the mod value and another important thing is you can write it as this also r dash u so what is mean by the double sign this is normally represent the magnitude but also remember this means if you are having kind of these lines it's going to represent you the norm of that vector there are several norms normally we are going to here we are going to use the second norm or the infinity norm so what this mean by that it is the actual magnitude of that vector so here also even you can use this sign or else it's better to use this one using a norm so the, even though there are several norms but here this norm is representing the second norm of that vector the second norm simply means the magnitude or the magnitude of the vector so this is the simple thing so let's say you are going to take this s and you don't know the where it's going to end like say from this x you are going to actually change that once you have figured out now we have stopped at t1 let's say you are going to change that value for a certain point 
where you don't know even what's the value of that t so what you can do is you can write it as t node to t so here this is an arbitrary value this is going to be changing but actually we don't know what's the value so you can take any other point so when the s is going to increase so you can take t node to t the t can change so t is going to change so it's going to be r dash u du so this is going to be the arc length parameter i hope now you have got a little bit of understanding if you haven't does please comment it below and please or watch those video which I have given the link in the description so you can get a clear understanding about the uh, in the using the graphical representation of this arc length parameter. I hope this video would be useful for you. Please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.